Hey guys, Electron Man. Well, guess what? I got a new watch to review. Actually, uh, picked this one up out of the yard sale, new in the box. Um, kind of tickled with it. it kind of got my fancy. And uh, I actually, out of the yard sale, gave 10 bucks for it. Wow, I know. Me out of the yard sale, I usually don't pay that much for a watch. But it was actually running, and it's still running. It's keeping good time. But, uh, you know, I knew I liked it when I saw it. I thought, man, it's a cool looking watch. I seem to say I've seen something like that before. And then I... Got home and got to surfing around and realized it was because it's a, what is it, Adima Pagate, I think is how they pronounce it. Everybody calls them APs. This is an AP uh, knockoff or lookalike. Without, I mean, they're not claiming it's that, and it, and, but it's just kind of, it has that look, if you know what I mean, guys. Um, even though it's, you know, it's called, this is what, an American exchange. It starts with an A. The lettering kind of looks like the same at the top there. Um, of course, obviously the hexagon with the screws. And I have to say, I've seen some other ones um, out there. I actually found this on Amazon. It's about 30 bucks. So I didn't do bad. I didn't steal it. But brand in a box, I'm tickled with it. It's in brand new condition with the manual and everything. But uh, anyway, uh, at least this one, I mean the screws, they're not, I don't think they're real screws, but at least they're cast in and they look like screws. I've seen some of them. It has like fake painted screws. And this one, I don't know if you can tell, hopefully you can catch that. It's got a diamonds at the... Uh, at the what is it would be the odd numbers on the dial so the one three five seven nine and eleven but uh, i think it's, it's just a cool looking watch um not real heavy let's go ahead and go through the specs on it i'll go ahead and show you everything i know about it so far I, like i said it is keeping good time and i kind of looked it up and it's just you know it's your typical uh knockoff japanese movement quartz um Nothing, nothing wrong with that. I mean, it, it probably will continue to keep good time. Uh, it's just a stainless steel. Let's go and get a weight. It's not real heavy. Um, I can't tell if that band is solid or not. If it's not, it almost feels like it's not solid. But uh, it's 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 not a not really loose or it's not like a real cheap. I've seen cheap cheap bands, and this is not a cheap band. But I wouldn't call it a AP band either. Uh, but yeah, it's a $30 watch. But uh, anyway, the weight on it is 122 grams. So like I said, it's not a real heavy watch, which, I mean, I like sporting a heavy watch once in a while, but I also like, you know, a watch that's not like overbearing and feels like you're lifting weights on one arm. So it's respectable, 122. Um, here's the, the back of it, American Exchange. I was trying to see, I don't even know, uh, not sure if this one's water resistant or not. I wouldn't, I would be careful not put it in water, honestly. Um, I believe it's a 44 millimeter. Uh, yeah, it's a 44. 44 millimeter. And the inside actual dial face is a 35, or no, 34. Actually, 33.5 to be exact. Not a bad looking watch, isn't it? I mean, uh, from a distance, you know, it, it, uh, it'll turn some heads and. It'll definitely be a watch I'd wear out out to a casino or something like that. Not gonna, not gonna go into a uh, high watch Rolex dealer with it. But any, anyway, it's a not a bad little watch. It uh, size wise, I notice it's it's a little bit tight on me. But they could have took some lengths out of it. It does fit. It's just kind of hard to get on my hand. I'll go ahead and get it on here. Actually, fits perfect. But there you go. There's what it looks like on your hand. Not bad looking this on there. But uh, there you go. By the way, yeah, these buttons, they're fake. I mean, this is this is just a, a cheap knockoff watch. You know, the cool thing about this is, is, you know, if I had an AD, I'd probably be afraid to wear it out. This, I, I would be afraid to go out and change oil in my car with it. <laughs> so, you know, there's your difference. Although I wouldn't do it to this. I'd scratch it up. But, but you get my point. But uh, yeah, these are, these are fake. I mean, the, the chronograph in there is, is 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 fake. It's just a it's just an analog watch with a second hand and and uh, doesn't even have a date on it. So it's simple. But you know, I like to review everything and give it a fair review. I mean, if you can get it under thirty dollars, I think it's a cool watch. Nothing wrong with it. It uh not not a sport watch. You know, not something I'd take a shower with. But definitely, like I said, something you can go out in the evening with and. You know, just at a glance, I mean, I mean, I was looking at the pictures online. I've never held a AD, but 
I mean, it's definitely got the characteristics of it, is what I would say. It, you know, it's not like it's a, it's a rip off or they're trying to, to clone it. They're just, uh, they're just kind of making the style points as an AD, basically. So anyway, hopefully uh, you enjoy this little uh, watch review video. I hadn't done one in a while. I hadn't, hadn't gotten any new watches lately. Uh, maybe Santa Claus will bring me some and I'll have some, some more uh, watch reviews after, uh, after the holiday season. Anyway, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and uh, uh, hit, that, uh, hit that bell so you know when I have new videos coming up. Have a great day. This is Electron Man.